Okay, today's, <clears throat> excuse me, movie review. Pardon me, let me say this out the gate. Pardon me. You know, I think I worked in the rain all day Saturday. And it was, what, nine, ten hours, something like that, like nine hours. And it's doing something. Oh, I got a cough. So I apologize in advance. Today's review, right, is uncharted all right i finally brought myself to watch it i know i'm late i know that i am late but i am not a tom holland fan um after the spider-man uh what i say is a debacle i I don't like him as spider-man i like both spider-mans better than him the other two spider-mans better than him slash more than him that's just me that's just me i'm different But we have Uncharted, all right? Um, From what I know uh, outside of online, that it it is a a video game series on PlayStation 4. uh, And there's, I think, four installments as of today. As of now, there's four installments in the video game series. So this goes, I don't know if there's a book or anything, but anywho, Uncharted, right? PG-13, y'all know how we do it. Background information, some type of synopsis, you know, couple characters before we get into the actual review rated pg-13 came out 2022 that's earlier this year classified as an action adventure runs one hour 56 minutes the synopsis treasure hunter victor sully sullivan recruits street smart nathan drake to help him recover a 500 year old lost fortune a missed were amassed, my bad, uh, by explorer uh, Ferdinand Magellan. What starts out as a heist soon becomes a globe trotting, white knuckled race to reach the prize before the ruthless Santiago Mancada uh, can get his hands on it. If Sully and Nate can decipher the clues and solve one of the world's oldest mysteries, they stand to find five billion dollars in treasure, but only if they can learn to work together. That's the synopsis. All right. Released February 18, 2022. Director Ruben Fleischer. I might pronounce the last name uh, wrong, but that's what it looked like. Starring Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg, Sofitia Ali, Tati uh, Gabriel, and Antonio Banderas. All right. Uh, adapted from Uncharted. All right, distributed by Columbia Pictures, Sony Pictures, releasing. All right, so huh, Tom Holland plays the main character, Nathan Drake. Um, Mark Wahlberg plays uh, a guy named Victor Sullivan. Uh, and Antonio Bendetta is, is uh, really like the was the antagonist, Pro- protagonist, antagonist. I think this one of those. I'm just drawing a blank right now. You know what I mean? <clears throat> He's the bad guy, the initial bad guy of the movie. Um, and I don't know if his character is in the game franchise. I never played the game franchise, even though I do hear, I, I've always heard good things about it. Uh, I don't know if his the character he plays is in there. I do know the character, of course, Tom Holland, Nathan Drake is the main character of the Uncharted game series, and Mark Wahlberg's character. Victor Sullivan is also in the game franchise. So I would assume these other characters are as well at some point in time. Um, Again, this is an action adventure. Um, And it seems like it. This is um, like a modern day Tomb Raider, uh, which are both like modern day uh, treasure hunting. What 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 was it? Um, What was it? Indiana Jones. It's an Indiana Jones movie. You know what I mean? It is a, a good time, a semi-good time. Tom, Ho- Tom Holland doesn't really give me I'm really trying to act vibes in this movie. He seems to be... I don't know what else he's done inside of Spider-Man before that or during that anything. I'm just going between Spider-Man, the Spider-Man Tom Holland that I know and the Tom Holland that's in Uncharted. It, it feels... Like it's the same character. Almost like he's still playing Peter Parker or his version of Peter Parker. 
in this movie. Um, it doesn't really seem like he's trying to do much. Um, so the, the acting is decent uh, on everyone's part. The story could be better, you know what I mean? But it seems like they're adapting from the video game franchise, and most video games don't have an excellent story. Um, so I can't say too much on that. Uh, there seems to be set up for a sequel. Uh, I do like the special effects. I do like the environments, almost like some Pirates of the Caribbean kind of joints towards the end. Um, I do kind of like how they get right into the shits. They get right into it. Uh, you don't have to, it's not uh, a ton of downtime. And the downtime you do get, it's, uh, it's informational uh, for the story. Uh, clearly, the, it's, it's more than, parts of the story takes place from more than one of the, the video games. Uh, I know that for a fact. So this movie is not based on the first Uncharted video game storyline. There's parts from the other stories that's in this that's in this movie, but it's still shaped up to be a sequel. Uh, if you go by the ending or go by the uh, after credit scene, the ending scene. Um, um, it's it's decent, man. I I, I liked my world. Mark Wahlberg's character, although it doesn't seem like he tried to do anything outside of being Mark, War uh, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, I like Antonio Bendetta's character. Uh, I like Sophia um, in the um, her the, the, the character she was uh, as well, which is Frazier, uh, Chloe Frazier. I disliked the main character in her relationship. Drake in her relationship on the camera not not due to the act well it could be due to the acting without it feel like it was more like the script i didn't like it didn't like it it was like it was supposed to be like oh you can trust her you can't trust her you can trust her she's gonna stab you in the back it was some shit that you could have seen a lot of stuff in this movie you can see from a mile away you can see from a mile away so if you judging this off the story or going for the story alone uh thinking this you're gonna get uh some good writing i would say no uh if you want to see some dang but the vent they didn't really venture like that either though i mean for what they were what where they were at the end versus the beginning is different but uh, the journey might have dropped the ball too a little bit as a whole piece right it's very watchable as a whole piece uncharted is watchable to be honest i think i actually like this movie more than i like him in the spider-man and it's hard to judge the last spider-man uh three because it had the other two spider-mans in it who to me carried it to me carried it way more than tom holland in this book and it's supposed to be his movie that's just me though i am biased i like andrew garfield's out of, out of the three to be honest I think the Amazing Spider-Man uh, series uh, which is two movies is better than the original Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire and better than the No Way Home uh, origin story of Tom Holland me personally Andrew Garfield I'm for Andrew Garfield and I'm not even like a, a, a super fan of his or like a fan of his outside of other uh, his other 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 movies or projects he's done outside of Amazing Spider-Man, because that was my first time actually paying attention to him when he did Amazing Spider-Man. And I don't think I've seen me personally, me personally, not saying he hasn't done anything. I don't think I've watched him in anything since. But I love his Spider-Man. Uh, not only him as Spider-Man, but where his Spider-Man is at in life, and the characters and everything around his Spider-Man. I also love the colors of the movie. It look, you know what I mean? It's a darker tint in it. I love, I love Amazing Spider-Man. Right. Uh, but back to Uncharted. <sighs> okay. It was decent, bro. We ain't gonna be here all day. It was decent. Uh, very watchable. Um, you, you, it's something you could take the kids to. Um, if you want to, especially if you, if it's like a matinee, uh, and the tickets is low. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's, it's a decent, it's a decent movie. It, what's a decent movie? I don't know why I had to ask on that. It's a decent movie. You know what I mean? If I got to rate it, which I always have to rate it on a scale of one to 10 ice cubes, 
I will give it. I will give it. Oh, man. Ten Ice Cubes being, it's cold. You got to go see it. It's, that's how cold it is. And one being, man, that, it's almost thawed out, man. Like, nah, you don't want, you don't want no parts of that. Um, I can't give it a 10. I always start, I try to start at, off at a 10. Uh, even though I don't think anything will be at a 10. That would be perfect across the board. And I, I think there's always something that someone could do better. But I started at 10, I worked my way down versus working at, at the bottom and working my way up. Unless I know it's absolute trash. Uh, but we haven't gotten there yet. Can I give it a 10? No. Can I give it a 9.5? 9, 9, 9. No, not even close. Why am I debating it with myself? No 9.5, no 9. No 9. No, no, nine. 8.5, 8. 8.5, 8. 8.5. And I know I'm trying to say two numbers because I, I try to throw in a half. And I'm going between, is it an 8.5 or could it be an 8? You know what I mean? And I'm debating that. So if you hear me saying that, that's what I'm doing. 8.5, 8. 8.5, 8 for Tom Holland and Uncharted. I like the looks. I lo- Look, I like the looks. I like the visuals. Again, the graphics the uh, for the special effects. Are nice too. The whole thing where they were jumping out the plane, uh, the back of the plane, and he was trying to uh, hold on to like the cargo or like the supplies. It was, and he was trying to climb up there, and they was fighting. That whole that scene where they was falling out the sky and all that was fire. Uh, I'm not saying that it hasn't been done before. We haven't seen it before. It was fire. It looked good. It looked good. Um, uh, there was a couple. Uh, Mark Wahlberg is like a serious, but he's kind of like a comic relief, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, but he, but he is more serious. Uh, he doesn't do a ton of like action things in here. So, and like Mark Wahlberg is getting he getting older. Uh, not that he's old and can't do it, but he is getting older. So I didn't I didn't kind of expect that. And it's not the movie's not about him. It's about Nathan Drake. And you see Tom Holland doing that. Tom Holland uh, as Drake does give you the action. There's the fighting. I don't know if he knows martial arts. He comes off like he does, but it doesn't it doesn't state that in any part of the movie. I don't like that. That it seems like he can fight. He can kick. He's punching. He's swinging. He's spinning over stuff. And so it seems like he got some type of mar- uh, martial arts. You know what I mean? Background. Never know nothing about that. Never know nothing about that. Uh, and it doesn't say that. It says like kind of like he was an orphan. He kind of grew up and next thing you know, he was grown up. That was it. You know what I mean? So uh, it doesn't explain that. Uh, you don't get backstory on Sullivan. Uh, you get very little background or backstory on Drake, which is like a, a flashback scene. For the most part, that's, that's pretty much it. You don't get any backstory on Frazier, which is uh, Sophia's uh, character, female character. You don't get any backstory on Antonio Bandetta's character um as the villain as one of the villains or whatever the case is this is a spoiler so you know what i mean um but the movie been out so if you hear and you heard about spoilers like you're in the wrong i don't know you, you fucking up with your life um but so nah i, I can't i just talked myself about the 8.58 we gotta go down okay 8 point okay 7.57 7.57 I think the they did a little bit of adventure I hated the back and forth between him and her though I'm gonna do 7.5 I'm gonna do a 7.5 for now 7.5 for now because it is a decent movie it doesn't really seem too long um it could be, but on first watch, it doesn't seem too long. It's an hour 56 minutes. It didn't seem too long. Now, there is some dry spots. I mean, a couple dry spots where I think, again, meant for more informational, um, to get information, you know what I mean, between the characters and learn a little bit about the characters and stuff like that. Does it, you know what I mean? It's not a, it's not a full-blown action. This ain't um, fucking, like, I don't Henry. You know what I mean? The, the first person shooter movie. I think it was called Henry or whatever it was. And it, you see the two guns. And it's just all the, every movie has to have downtime for you to get the information. Or otherwise, you don't care nothing about no, scor- no story if the entire movie is all action. So when, when I'm talking about the downtime in this particular movie, 
there's information, there's dialogue, and you're learning about this, uh, the relationship between the characters, or a little bit about, a little bit about their, their, their inner workings of each character. Um, and I stick at 7.5 for now, man. 7.5 for now. I don't see it going higher than that, but it definitely could be a seven. It definitely could be a seven. It's worth a watch. It's worth a watch. If you got an hour and 56 minutes to spare, your boy Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg, Yemeni out here, Sophia Taylor Ali, um, and I shout out Yemeni, you know I mean? uh, Antonio Banderas, you know what I mean? Tati Gabriel, Tati Gabriel, you know what I mean? Even uh, Rudy Pankow is in there. Uh, Brian Crankston somewhere in there. Um, but it's decent. It's decent for, for, for the one time you go ahead and watch it, man. That's my review. I'll give it seven and a half ice cubes out of ten. Make sure you stick around, man. This is your boy, L.A. Styles, a.k.a. The L.A. Styles, a.k.a. Iceberg, Ice Revolver, the iced one. It's another review for y'all, man. Regular podcasts are coming. I don't just do reviews. Regular podcast shows are recording. All right, just give me a time. Give me. Listen, also, if you want to take part in, in the, the live recording of when I do my. I, do, I don't record the, the, uh, the reviews live, right? I'm not doing that live, right? I'm still doing the podcast format, but I'm not doing that live, right? Um, the regular podcast shows are recorded live, right? And when you hear those, you, you can hear guest speakers. You know what I mean? People uh, sending us messages live and reading them. That we, we record that on the Stereo app. It's called Stereo. Right? You can go in there, type in Stereo app into your app store, and you will see it. It's a red icon. Look like it's smiling or something right now. This is what it look like now. On there, there's live podcasts. You can follow your boy, myself, the LA Styles. Hit that bell whenever I, I uh, schedule a show, because I normally schedule my shows a week or two in advance you'll know so the shows you want to be a part of or want to get your two cents in once you see the title and description you can hit that bell notification and you'll get that all right we record that live and while we recording live if you want to speak your piece on anything that we're saying or actually if you want to try to get into the conversation you can actually try to request to join that's normally temporary though you know what i mean we'll put you back in there as a listener you know what i mean but you can't have the floor like that but if you got you know what i mean you want to speak your piece you can do that or if you just got something on your chest, you can send a message on Stereo uh, that we also play live in the Stereo app. You know what I mean? And then a lot of the messages that you hear is uh, people sending messages up besides our actual hosts and co-hosts that's on here. So, but this is your boy L.A. Styles, man, a.k.a. The L.A. Styles. Another episode of Live from L.A. And I'm out.